So I wanted to do another video on uh, how to move out of your position in space using inertial propulsion. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, this is nonsense. You just built some kind of Rube Goldberg machine that is not going to go anywhere. So, and um, this contraption um, is really a convoluted mess. Um, and uh, it, we're going to go through why, no matter how I reconfigure this thing, it's probably never going to shift very far out of its center of mass um, because it's just this is one closed loop nothing's there's this is a, a closed system so um, this one is not gonna it shouldn't work <laughs> I mean you might get a little bit of a you know every, a, like a bizarre you know shot but anyway so here how does this work so these up here just hit this chain this spring keeps the chain from you know getting wound up on this I got a little little uh, you know opening here um, and I'll, I'll explain what that is later um, and then I got a bunch of wooden balls um, material wood okay no big deal and then a bunch of rubber balls and actually I made them a little bit so these are really light rubber balls like the normal rubber ball uh, is 1.5 I just dropped it down to 0.5 I'll go back. So I just dropped it down to 0.5. So I just made them a little lighter. There's still rubber walls. Um, this plate is going to push these up, starting this whole thing moving, um, along with this. So once this kicks in, it's going to hit these. So everything's going to start moving, going to start flying around. In my last video, I made it sound like these balls could somehow rearrange the center of mass in here. That's not what's going to happen. Um, so let's just start and you'll see. So we're going to hit this. Boom. Everything starts flying around. Right. You want to make sure nothing flies out. Um, okay. So now we're moving. Um, so right now this thing's just shaking back and forth. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. This is not, you're not flying around in space like that. Just watch it go for a while. Now, if you look, you're going to get a little drift, I guess. I mean, not really. I mean, it does seem like it might be moving, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. You're just turning. So this isn't. This isn't doing anything, right? You're not reconfiguring the system because nothing's disconnected. When you hit here, it shoots over here, and that's translated like this is. There's. This is a direct one-to-one -one linear accelerator. Um, all the balls are being accelerated linearly. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, they're just bouncing off of here and everything's straight back. There's no, there's no break in the system. So this, this isn't what I'm talking about. This isn't closed loop pulse propulsion. This is, this is nothing. You're going nowhere. I mean, I hope you see that. That's this. I don't care what you do to this system. It is going nowhere. Let's go as fast as we want. Let's go up to it. 9,000. I think as fast as we can go. And what are we doing? We're just shaking back and forth. Nothing's changing. These things aren't doing anything. Nobody's going anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. Correct? You're not going to hit nothing. It's going nowhere. Fact. You know, again, slight little shift over here, but it's not shifting out of it. it it's going to shift back. <laughs> it's got to. This blob here is the center of mass. Like this right here is where everything's going. This chain ain't doing anything. So none of this is is you know closed loop pulse propulsion it is not remotely what I'm saying but this one is so what is the difference between this and this so this is why I put this little hole here okay so this ball and imagine this is just like a a, a, a line in a that this can kind of kind of go anywhere at once along this whole thing. So this is free free floating. These are free to knock about as much as they want. This is free to knock as back and forth in this area as much as it wants. But none of these little balls are going to be able to get out of the hole. So we're not going to lose any mass, right? Um, I'm going to show you the difference. So we start the whole system. Everything starts moving the same. Blah 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 blah. Right? But there's a problem. 
the force that's exerted on the outside isn't always reciprocated because this thing is shifting so much and you get these tiny little bumps well you'll see let's let's speed this up i want you to kind of see what's going on so boom 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 right so now we hit that those two are clacking together right and this thing's just bouncing around right nothing's flying out just like it was before but if we notice okay give it more time more and more time and we're not really turning huh. so let's go ahead and increase the speed to a nine 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 or whatever it's all good i don't know if it really does much so now it's going real fast right and we're just going to look and see because it's different every time i mean it's bizarre you know you can't really But you can see right here. I mean, you're not going fast. This is not you are not flying around in space like this is Star Wars. <laughs> That's not, you know, this is more tiny little shifts. But where'd our ship go? Our ship shouldn't be going anywhere. You understand what I'm saying? Like our ship, yes, it's turning. But it's also kind of going out of where this one's just spinning around. This one ain't doing anything. This one's actually moving. Watch. And if I wanted to, I could put more of those things on and get more of this action. So. And the only reason this is actually doing anything different, let's see. See, it's spinning and moving. So, yeah, it is turning. But you could see that. Like, there's no way you're putting, it was over here where it started. Right? You're never putting that system back where it started. You can't. So that's the difference. That's what this thing is doing. This is closed loop pulse propulsion. It's just because this, if it was just these two balls bouncing back and forth, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. Um, maybe a little bit. Um, but it's these two that are causing this effect. So Every once in a while, they transfer momentum to each other, right? But it's not, they're not directly in line with one another. So the momentum that they transfer doesn't transfer the same way because it goes through the spring. So you're getting an asymmetrical force. What is driving this whole stupid thing is this. That's what's pulling us around. None of this stuff does anything other than and just add mass. So if we got rid of all of this stuff and lightened it all up and just look, this thing would be dragging us all over the place. So, right, I mean, tell me that is not movement. And I'm saying this is more than just out of your center of mass, right? We're gone. I mean, we're going to hit the ground. And there's no way we should have been able to hit the ground. Are we going to hit the ground? eventually and if I wanted to I could actually make everything a lot lighter and this thing would go faster it's not it's not magic I mean this is oh yeah this is gonna hit the ground hit the ground hit the ground oh yeah we're gonna hit how can we hit the ground we cannot hit the ground there's no gravity boom watch this douche see come on Come on. So I understand like physicists and, you know, people who work in space are just going to lose their minds over this because, oh, it's, you're defying, you know, you're, you're violating the laws of conservation of energy. And well, no, I am absolutely not. I am absolutely not violating the laws of anything. Um, let's see. We want to go to here. Boom. 
uh, blogger posts. If you don't believe me, go to uh, where do we, we want? <laughs> oh, this is my blog post, by the way. And there's a bunch of crazy stuff on here. So uh, this is my blog. Yeah, so this is my blog, um, proof of the Pythagorean curvature correction theorem, right? Emergent reality. Hey, come on, come read this stuff. It's really good. Um, uh, let's see. But anyway, I want to go down to modeling. Oh, that's a good one. Modeling the tariff pass through its first order lag. Nobody's done that before. Where is the proof? Where is? Here's one of them now. This is, uh, you don't like that one, but you should read this once you read the one I'm going to show you. Uh, what the hell? I wrote a lot of nonsense. There we go. So here's the proof for closed loop um, pulse propulsion. And again, before you start losing your mind and telling me that this is violating the laws of conservation of energy and that I don't know who any know there is and blah, 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 I should learn how to do some math. Well, I mean, I know a little bit about math. Um, and I also know that uh, um, when I do altitude, open this back up. Did I lose it? Oh no, there we are. Yeah, but when I run this thing, and I could stop it now. I mean, maybe all those balls open. Uh, velocities. Freeze. So we're just going to freeze it all and just start it back up. Okay. It's going to take a hot minute. But I know that's going to go. And I know this one will never move out of its spot. It's going to just be right here. Sitting and spinning. Right? Because this is a closed loop. It can, if you're not opening the loop. Um, one way to open the loop is to would be to create angular momentum in not really in these balls because I mean you're 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 spinning them up too but when you spin them up linearly it doesn't do anything but to and I don't know how to describe it but if you were to like take one of these balls and keep them moving linearly but but also spin them around against the system you're actually changing the dimensions in which they exist so it's not this doesn't stop moving linearly like if i take this ball and i spin it through if i were to like capture this ball with a spinning disc this doesn't change the linear momentum of it it just spins it faster against so this will always have linear momentum and the angular momentum will force a torque into the system which is what's happening right now these even though these are completely opposite one another um, we're getting this spinning because you're getting asymmetrical force and um, it's just it's turning into a torque on the whole system so you're just you're just spinning you're not going anywhere this is already are we moving yeah it's starting to move already so this is already going anyway we just started it and boom right away we go so it's just it's just Right? I'm not naive. I'm not, you know, an idiot. Um, uh, you know, this, this, I get this is supposed to be impossible. And I get this is only a 2D system, but this is a very simple system to use. You're more than welcome to use something like uh, the Unreal Engine, you know, to make a video game kind of thing. Uh, you know, Blender um, can do this. I'm not that good at this kind of stuff. I'm not, you know, a physicist or, you know, a computer scientist, but um, you know, clearly this is moving and clearly this one is not and never will. Right. And I know this, I know the math of all of this stuff. I know why it's doing exactly what it's doing. And I know why this one will move out of it. I, I did this on purpose. I wanted you to see that this crazy mess, even though it seems like you're just going to be reconfiguring your center of mass, you're not. You're just putting a torque on this system, which you can absolutely see. This has thrust. You cannot move out of your center of mass. This whole system cannot move without a thrust. That is thrust. 
It just is. You don't like it. I get it. It flies in the face of everything you know about the universe and blah, 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 because how the hell could this possibly be true? But if you do the math, you'll see this absolutely works. It's the, this program is not broken. Your concept of what is, is you know, physically possible isn't correct. So this one moves. This one does not. Make sense? 